Hey guys, today we're gonna be having Filipino food. Today we went to a place called Little Mama and we got a whole bunch of goodies today. Yeah. All right, let's start off with our first. Ooh, oh my gosh, the fried pork belly. Take a look. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, glorious. And it looks like there's some vinegar in here and then there's some gravy some kind of gravy not sure what but some kind all right so let's try it out first and foremost because we love we love our pork bellies we're korean we enjoy our pork belly all right so let's try it off oh look at that pork belly looks very good mmm Salted and peppered. It's very really good. Alright guys, pork belly. Here we go. I'm gonna dip it in the vinegar. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You can't go wrong with that. Let me try the gravy. Mmm. Tastes like dates. Pretty good. But you should. All right, to the next one we go. They were at a pork barbecue, so we got the Filipino chicken barbecue sticks. Doesn't that look delightful? Let's try it out. It's a very big. It's very, um, it's grilled well. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. I like the sauce. Chicken's not dry at all. Mm. Mm. It's good. I like Filipino food. I think this is pretty authentic. Let me know in the comments below if you're Filipino and this is authentic. It's like charcoaled very well. Uh-uh. Mm. It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. So good. I feel like this is just rice because of how heavy this is. Oh yeah, it's the garlic rice. I'm not sure what it's so different about garlic rice and regular rice, but people were saying to get this online, so. Mm. I thought this would taste more like a fried rice, but more than a fried rice, it's like it has the garlic fried, like little small pieces. You can taste it, but it's not overwhelmingly oily. It's fragrant and nice. It's good to eat with um, all the food. All right, to the next one we go. Ooh, ooh, lumpia. Yes, yes, yes. And this is the sinigang. Sisig? Sisig. This is sisig. I wanted to try sinigang, but I didn't see it on their menu. This is the sisig, and this is without the egg. My husband has an egg allergy, so. Alright, so here we go. Let's try it out. It looks like there's pork in here. Mmm. Hold on. There's mayo. There's mayo in here. So that that's mayo it it tastes like pork mayo a little bit of spice here and there 
I kind of wish that there was more spice. I got this spicy, but I feel like almost I need to like pour some vinegar or maybe that's why the lime is on the, the lemons on the side, but it's a little heavy. Mm. But it's good. I have to say it's good. Let's try the lumpia. It came with some red sauce and I got an order of six. Look at that. All right, let's open one. Let's open this up. Mmm, very good. Refreshing. Let's take the lumpia. Go dip, 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 dip. Golden. Mmm. It's good. I feel like Chinese egg rolls, they have more like cabbage and a lot of carrots in it. But I feel like for lumpia, it's more of like the meat. I almost want to say that they put like something else besides uh, pork in there. Maybe shrimp. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. I like the sauce too, it's refreshing. Maybe they put vinegar in it, I'm not sure. It's good. Let me give one to my husband. They provided these little plates. I think you just have to self-service yourself with them. It's very like, I would say mom and pop, right? Mom and pops. Their sign is like on a poster that's handwritten. I dig it. I'm like, that's how you know that stuff is good, you know? Mmm, so good. I like the spice level. And I like that nothing is like crazy sweet. Because I know like Korean food, sometimes there's a lot of sweet foods and it's kind of like, ugh, you just get, get tired of it. But nothing is like crazy sweet. I don't know why I haven't had Filipino food before. I feel like it should be as popular as Chinese food. Oh, and in the vinegar, there's like a fermented, I think it's fermented garlic because it kind of turns like teal like the eiffel tower not the eiffel tower but lady liberty all right let's enjoy our plate it's very good i i really like it a lot i do wish i had kimchi though because the seasick is heavy i i looked at the size and i was like that's not a very big size but then people online were saying that it can feed like three to five people now I understand why I can feed three to five people. It's heavy. It's a heavy dish. Mm. Mm. Which one's your favorite? Out of everything? Huh? The barbecue. And then I like the pork belly and then C6. C6 is a little heavy for me. What about you? My pork belly is skewer. Mm -hmm. And then I can't try that. What about lumpia? Third. It's mm. good, but. The same. other food just outweighs it. Lumpia is more of an appetizer, and I think that's why it's a little low. But for an appetizer, it's pretty high up there.
Mm. I really want to try the cassava cake. It looks so good. Mmm. I like the sauce on the skewer, right? Yeah, actually, I think I like the skewer more. It's just Hey guys, so we're back, but um, we had to turn on the AC because this is Texas after all, and <laughs> my phone overheated. It was like, danger, emergency, overheating. So here we are, still eating our skewer. Oh, and the AC is on, so if you hear something blowing in the background, and you know what blowing I'm talking about, it's <laughs> definitely the AC, all right? <laughs> Mm. It's really good. I feel like this is the flavor that Lay's potato chip was inspired by. Pork belly is really good. Mm. I love vinegar. I like putting vinegar on my meat and everything. It's good. It's good. Mm. Highly recommend. I haven't tried the pork one, but I heard the pork one's the best. Can I have some lumpia sauce, please? The lumpias are good too. Mm. Very juicy. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Give us the bones. Mm. 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 I'm actually holding myself for dessert because we got a special dessert today, guys. I wanted to try the cassava cake and stuff, but there was something I really have been wanting to try for a long time. It's so hot in Texas right now. It's only 83 degrees outside, but the sun is pulling out its death rays. Guys, guys, guys. The treat, the treat. Oh, yes. It has lived. This is hollow hollow. See that blue purple stuff? It's ube. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to eat this for a long time. It was in an ice box, so it thankfully survived. But look at that. Look at that glorious, glorious, All right? I'm gonna try the purple stuff first because you know. Mmm. Mmm. Baby, try. Mmm. Mmm. Kind of tastes like taro, right? Mm -hmm. Here you go, guys. Take a look. It's a purple. Potato. Sweet potato? Yeah. Mmm. It's good. Actually, I like it more than taro. Taro has a weird taste at the end. Mmm. Mmm. In Korea, we have something called pingsu, which is ice and like milk. With some leche. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Mm. It's 
good. I don't know what, this is just vanilla ice cream, I think. Hmm. What is this orange stuff at the bottom? What is this? Guys, you know what this stuff is? Let's see. Oh, is it a persimmon? Oh, it's a dried apricot. Or is it a persimmon? Something dried. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit of ice. It's good. I like it. I don't know what this yellow stuff is, so I'm gonna just shovel it in my mouth. Mmm. I think that was egg custard. Are you having any reactions? Guys, look at the ice. It's so perfect for such a hot day like this. Mm. Ah. Mm. I want the jelly. Oh, look. Red bean. I love red bean. Some Korean people, like the youngins, they don't like bread bean nowadays. Mm. Hot towel. Mm. I like this custardy stuff. I don't know what this yellow stuff is. It's not fruit. Mm. I think it's egg custard or flan. Oh, I haven't had flan in such a long time. Mm. That's it for today's video, guys. My phone's gonna overheat again, and my honey gotta use the bathroom. So I'll see you later, guys. See you later, boy. See you later. Oh. Yeah.